The name came from a woman in New Haven, rum runner, prohibition lady, who had a fleet of boats that were the fastest ones on the Long Island Sound. They would have some doors that would open up underneath the uh, hotel. The boats would go underneath, they'd uh, unload all the booze that they brought in. When prohibition was repealed, she went legit, called the restaurant, Nellie Green's restaurant, and it just grew from there. Uh, we do a great lobster roll, fresh catch seafood. People love our burgers. When people are out here, especially when they're out here on the patio, the biggest things that people say is they feel like they're on vacation when they're out here. We are at our first location, Nellie Green's. Tell me a little bit more about this place, ladies. Uh, this place is located in Brantford, and uh, it's right on the water. So we have a bouillabaisse, which is a dish that has a lot of different seafood, and then we have a spinach salad with some salmon on top. So good. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Blue cheese, there's like onion. Blue cheese, bacon, caramelized onions on top. Arugula. The juice is just flowing. Mm -hmm. Arugula, we are clearly very happy. We have a delicious spread here, but if people have never been to Nellie Green's, uh, where are they located? They're 50 Maple Street, and they're right on the Brantford River. Super easy to get to. It's called the farm to table movement. We don't call it a movement, it just makes sense. If you can buy something that's fresher, better, uh, less expensive, and pass it on to the customer. All our butchery is done on, on premises. We think we have the best meat in, in the state. We think, but we also know, we can back that up 30 and under Black Angus, Prime, all of our, our, our beef is, is, we have seven different steaks that we run on a given day. It's an experience, mm -hmm. for sure. So we kind of call it an event because it's not just like you stop by Nada's, it's like you plan to go to Nada's. You get the cheese course to share, you choose your own salad, you choose your own entree, your own dessert, but then everybody is switching plates, you know, everyone goes counterclockwise, everyone's trying each other's dishes. A lot of our fish dishes have an Asian inspiration. My stepmom is Filipina, so we have a lot of that kind of inspiration as well. Um, my dad has Italian backgrounds as far as training. This is a bronzino, a Mediterranean fish. It's incredible. Mm. It's fantastic. And I so tender. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Let's oh, see it's heavy. Oh, that is. Oh, it's even Ooh. crispy. I can oh my god, that. that's good. Oh. oh, yeah. You see that? Ooh. Oh my the goodness. meat is so tender, but what makes it, in my opinion, oh my is the fat. The fat is so yes. good. <laughs> the fat is so good. That bite is just like Go in it. everything in your you knife. More. And last, but certainly not least, is Strega. And these dishes literally look like a work of art. I am so excited. They're gorgeous. Yes. We wanted to, to bring really like a, a taste of Italy. The authenticity and the simplicity of the ingredients, the freshness, and um, probably almost the 90% of the ingredients came straight from Italy. Uh, we also serve a Neapolitan style pizza. Bakery chef. He think about to give something to the Queen um, to say welcome to Naples mm -hmm. and they think about the tomato and the mozzarella and the basil to represent the, the Italian flag. That's the, I the, love the that. story. And from them like the pizza margherita. Uh, we have a beautiful uh, linguine with lobster sauce. Uh, actually the pasta is from Benevento, my own town in Italy, uh, the pastificio rummo. It's very, very good. Uh, we serve with a, a lobster stock, really like slow cooked, and then uh, we serve uh, with a whole shell of lobster in the dish. It's very, it's very characteristic. Here, I, got, I think this is strawberry ice cream, and it's homemade strawberry Ooh, ice cream. Because everything is made in-house. Oh. I'll put it down like this. Mm. Oh, that's amazing ice cream. Mm. Oh my gosh, this? Ooh. That is so good. Probably, if it was enough for the community of Brantford, I don't know <laughs> if I was here or not. They support me a lot. They see me, my family, you know, uh, stay here all day, every day. Probably, I think that they see something that happened to their family a long time ago. So it's like a, an American dream 2.0 for me. So, perfect. Another successful food tour, and as you said, getting out of the greater Hartford area yes. and trying a new place. Absolutely delicious. Cheers. 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 That's good. This is very tasty. Mm. Yeah, I like that.